Before people typically had cameras, mom was filming with uh, these old eight millimeter Kodak wind up brownie cameras. They uh, proved to be quite a treasure. That's me. We're on our way to Virginia, probably uh, 1962, 61, 62. That's the Lookout Mountain Tower. That was a big climb to get up there to see, but you could see three states from there. I don't know who that is with us, but that's Kenneth and myself, Ron Holt. That was a 61 Chevy. Now we're actually in Virginia, and uh, I don't know whose house this is, but it might be one of the cousins' places. Uh, oh, or this is probably Uncle Wesley's house. And that might be like a sister of my grandmother. I don't remember Uncle Wesley's first wife. But uh, that's Dad um, with the hat on. Dad heretofore known as Luther Holt. And that is uh, Debbie. Debbie Holt, uh, Uncle. And that's Gwen. Gwen and Debbie were sisters, daughters of uh, Uncle Wesley. And that's Kenneth and Deborah. That weirdness that you see with the fence is my computer actually building in between frames. So I slowed this footage down dramatically and then it made frames to give me a, a smooth, uh, longer image. And that way you can actually see stuff. And the image is actually a better quality than the, the film was because it's it takes two frames and makes uh, you know seven frames out of it. That's my mom, Rose Holt. I think that's me standing there. Nope, not with boobs. <laughs> Don't know who that is, though. But that well makes me think of a, either, it's got to be Uncle, yeah, it's probably Uncle Wesley's house. That's Kenneth and I. Now, that's uh, Dudley. That's Uncle Fred's son. Give us a little eye treatment. Yeah, a lot of the footage is damaged, and you, you didn't have a lot to work with. You know, these cameras were not automatic. You physically set it to sunshine, indoors, whatever. That's this is probably in uh, New York or Brooklyn. That's Luther Holt, my dad, and that's Dudley, and that's Uncle Fred and Uncle Ivory and Dudley and that's a 72 or 73 Torino that's the that's the characteristic Uncle Fred Lean <laughs> and that's Yvette and my father Luther Holt Ivory's legs. So Dad and Uncle Ivory smoked pipes. And uh, Monica, uh, Uncle Ivory's daughter, and Uncle Fred. Now, this is Tommy and and little kitty and Mike's mother right there and dad's behind him. This is probably in New York. Not a lot of footage. Well, this is the first time I that's the first time I've ever seen her in this footage. And that's probably Lillian's brother, one of the Waltons in New York. Fred and 
loop there in, I imagine this is still New York. I think Uncle Fred had a house in the country that uh, he would go to periodically. And this is on the road, I think heading to Virginia probably a family reunion in the 70s. And now, during this time, I was in the Air Force, so I wasn't around. Ooh. And Afros made it very interesting to try to see out of the rear view mirror or if they're sitting next to you, because you really block the view. Dudley and there's Lorella, Uncle Fred's wife. And I think I have footage of uh, Lorella when she was a little younger. I think she was dealing with cancer then. This is uh, Kenneth and Luther playing tennis. Yeah, this is this looks smooth because the computer is actually making up frames in between the jerky frames that you would normally see in a old eight millimeter movie film. It's Uncle Fred exercising form. This is an interrupted footage from a little bit earlier, but uh, this is probably back in New York. This is slowed down a lot because this was a very short little blip and you could barely make out anybody before it faded to white. But and I raised the contrast and slowed it down and did frame blending. And you can see, you know, Dad and Uncle Ivory conversing. That's Kenneth and Rosalia Holt, my mom. Now here, Kenneth is, is uh, this is probably oh, 12 years earlier. This is probably 19, probably 1956. And that's Gwen. She was a year older than me and Kenneth was five years younger, so that's about right. And there's dad, Luther, walking with the uh, badminton rackets. Clyde and Lottie, Uncle Clyde and Lottie, and this is probably, I think this might be Uncle, no, this is, oh, well, here's my grandmother, this is the oldest footage, I film footage of my grandmother, and 
This might be the my grandmother's house. This is my grandmother's house. Yeah, because uh, I think Uncle Wesley's house had brick. And Kenneth and Uncle Grover. Yeah, it's probably a cousin. That's Aunt uh, Kitty. Otherwise known as Big Kitty. And that's Luther. Kitty and Morris. That's Tommy back there playing with my head. And that's me. So this is in town. Modeling the shoes. And now this is in New York. This is uh, probably around the same time frame. So you'll see Butch in here. Butch and Byron are uh, Uncle Ivory's and Mildred's children. And that's Rockefeller Center. And that's me and probably Butch. And I think you also see Tommy there. That might be Tommy and Uncle Fred. That's my mom, Rosalie Holt. And there's mom. So you only got a little flashes of her, but by slowing it down and doing the frame blending, I got enough so that you can actually see her and recognize. And that's me. This footage was water damaged and decayed and molded, but uh, we were able to salvage some images out of it. <laughs> Here's Dad. Now this is a beach in New York where I discovered that salt water is unbelievably <laughs> nasty to taste. So it's probably Butch and Byron and Kenneth and I. That's Kenneth. Me doing handstands. That's probably Lillian's brother. So he'd be a grand uncle to me. And I think the the plan was that we go to New York and Maybe pick up Byron. I, I think that's my mom there in the sunglasses. Pick up Byron and then head down to Virginia. And it was probably a, like a family reunion kind of event. This is kind of halfway there in Washington, D.C. and marching. And I was always aware of the camera. So. And that's the Washington Monument.
I don't know who that for well, pushing a baby like that that I, I kind of thought it was mom but I don't think it was uh, that's looks like Kenneth and Byron and don't know who they are and that's Lorella and that, uh, not Lorella uh, Roberta and dad by the car and that's I don't know who they are but she kind of looks like my mother I think that was my dad that you saw there. And um, there's dad and Aunt Ruth. That's Uncle Morris. I think this is I think this is Uncle Clyde's house. And there's uh, Margaret and Iris. And Ivory and Iris. And Mildred. and dad and Morris walking down the stairs. Hey, I think this is Uncle Clyde's house. Now this is, this may be back at uh, Mama Lillian's house. That's me and Uncle Grover and Aunt Kitty. lost his arm in the uh, uh, accident at the Dan River Mills and there's Uncle Clyde he was a I think a singer sewing machine repair guy and I think he did pretty he was pretty noted pretty good on that and there's Uncle Fred and that was Mama Lillian sitting on that chair and my mother sitting on the swing and this is a pic this was an image that was turned into a picture that dad has in his house I think Kenneth drew that and that was Uncle Earl to the side. So you got an Aunt Kitty between them. And that's my grandmother and Aunt Mildred. And uh, there's Dad and probably cousins or somebody behind him. And there's my grandmother. And that's Iris uh, learning how to walk. I think that's Lorella right there before she got sick. And uh, he's a cutie. He didn't. You know, I only saw, this is the first time I saw pictures of her when she was healthy. And that's my mom. And that's me. And that's Byron. And that's the mashed potatoes. Kenneth and Byron. those teeth. Hmm. There's Uncle Earl. Now this is Christmas in Chicago. I think Uncle Morris and Aunt Ruth came up. And 
this was the model planes with the gas engine that you controlled by wire, well, not wires, but basically strings. You had a, two cords that stretched out and you just spun it around with it. smoked. paradise place. We had tradesmen and shop owners and single family homes and Miss Saunders. She was a nurse. But it was a kind of an idyllic period. Uh, 